Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk about future trends in materials uses. So let's begin. At first let's talk about metallic materials. The US production of basic metals such as iron, steel, aluminium, copper, zinc and magnesium is expected to follow the US economy fairly closely. However, existing alloys may be improved by better chemistry, composition, control and processing techniques. New and improved aerospace alloys such as the nickel based high temperature super alloys are constantly being researched for increased high temperature strength and corrosion resistance. These alloys are used for jet engines and increased engine efficiency can be obtained by higher operating temperatures. New processing techniques such as hot isostatic pressing and isothermal forging can lead to improved fatigue life of aircraft alloys. Also, powder metallurgy techniques will continue to be important since improved properties can be obtained for some alloys with lower finished products cost. Let's discuss about polymeric materials, that means the plastic materials. Historically, plastic materials have been the fastest growing basic material in the United States with a growth rate of 9% per year on a weight basis. However, the growth rate for plastic through 1995 dropped to below 5% a significant decrease. This drop was expected because plastic have already substituted for metals, glass and paper in most of the main volume markets such as packaging and construction for which plastics are suitable. Engineering plastics such as nylon are expected to remain competitive with metals according to some predictions. With the expectations of hot rolled steel, engineering plastics are expected to be the least expensive material. An important trend in the development in the engineering plastics is to bend or alloy different polymeric materials together to produce new synergistic plastic alloys. The search for new plastics continue because of their lower cost and suitable properties for many applications. Let's talk about ceramic materials. The historic growth of traditional ceramic materials such as clay, glass and stone in the United States has been 3.6%. The expected growth rate of these materials from 1982 to 1995 followed the US company. In the past decade, an entirely new family of engineering ceramics of nitrites, carbides and oxides has been produced. New applications for these materials are being found constantly, particularly for high temperature uses and for electronic ceramics. Ceramic materials are low in cost but their processing into finished products is usually slow and costly. Also, most ceramic materials are easily damaged by impact because of their low or nil ductility. If new techniques for developing high impact ceramics could be found, these materials could show an up search for engineering applications where high temperature and high wear environments exist. Let's talk about composite materials. Fiber reinforced plastics are the main type of composite used by industry with glass being the dominant fiber. The reinforced plastic industry grew from 2.1 billion pounds in 1981 to 2.5 billion pounds in 1987, an average 3% per year annual growth rate. 
एडवांस कम्पोजिट मेटेरियल सार्चेस फाइवर ग्लस इपोक्सि एंड ग्राफाइट इपोक्सि कम्बिनेशन आर बिकामिंग मोर इम्पोर्टेंट अल द टाइम फर हाई पार्फरमेंस एंड क्रिटिकल स्ट्राक्चरल एप्लीकेशन एंड एवरेज एनुअल गेन अफ एबाउट फाइव पार्सेंट इज प्रिडिक्टेड फर द फ्यूचर इजेस अफ दिस मेटेरियल फर एक्साम्पल द सी सेवेंटीन ट्रांसपोर्ट इज कन्स्ट्रक्टेड उथ एबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड पाउंड अफ एडांस कम्पोजिट मेटेरियल इनक्लूडिंग कार्बन एरामिट एरामिट एंड ग्लस फाइवर रिनफोर्स टाइप्स न्यूअर कमार्शियल एयरक्राफ्ट अल्सो आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी कन्स्ट्रक्टेड उथ मोर एंड मोर एडांस मेटेरियल इन द फ्यूचर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेटेरियल The use of silicon and other semiconductor materials in solid state and microelectronics has shown a tremendous growth since 1970 and this growth pattern is expected to continue. The impact of computers and other industrial types of equipment use using integrated circuits made from silicon chips has been spectacular. the full effect on of computerized robots in modern manufacturing is yet to be determined electronic materials will will undoubtedly play a vital role in the factories in the future in which almost all manufacturing may be done by robots assisted by computer controlled machine tools over the years integrated circuits have been made with a greater and greater density of transistors located on a single silicon chip with a corresponding decrease in transistor width for example in 1998 the point to point resolution for the smallest measurement on a silicon chip was 0.18 micrometer and the diameter of the silicon wafer used was 12 inch that means 300 mm Another improvement may be the replacement of aluminium by copper for interconnects because of the higher conductivity of copper. And finally thank you for being with me.